This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. Welcome to Techzilla Hands-On Reviews, the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear you've already got. Whether you're a beginner or tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or the best science fiction and fantasy book club on YouTube, we've got an answer for you. And if we don't, we'll track down someone who does. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I should explain what we're talking about. <laughs> um, my One of my other shows, Sword and Laser, which has been an audio podcast for the past four years, is now going to be a show on YouTube and uh, on Felicia Day's channel, Geek and Sundry. Geek and Sundry. So that's a show I host with Tom Merritt. We're going to do it every other Friday, mm -hmm. um, starting on April 13th. Yay! Yay! We have a real set and everything. Ooh. It's just like being on Texilla, except it's science fiction and fantasy, and it's me and Tom instead of me and you. Okay. So it's kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that, except totally different. It's like instead of tech, it's sci-fi. It's good stuff. <laughs> Happy first day of spring. Woo! I, 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 along with backing up regularly, I think we're mm -hmm. going to start a new tradition here at Texilla, which is spring cleaning your PC. Oh, yes. Alternately titled, Dust, Cat Fur, and Potato <laughs> Bugs. Oh, my. Yeah, just some of the reasons we love PCs with built-in filters. Do we have mm -hmm. the picture of Serafina's Bug of Doom? Oh, no, what is this? That, I don't she, this. she found a potato bug. It was about nine inches long inside of her. It's not that big. It was, like, oh. probably two inches long inside of her PC case. But oh, man, in the PC case. That's <laughs> gross. I keep finding um, earwigs everywhere in my earwigs. house. Earwigs. Like, they, they like to hang out around the litter boxes and around the, the cat food because we have one of those perpetual feeders. Uh -huh. You know, it's, so it's, there's always food, so I think they're just attracted to that. <laughs> like, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're, we plan on making a little bit of a mess today. Uh, we'll get the vacuum <laughs> out in a second. But let's talk about things you can do to prevent the egg from getting getting inside in the first place. First off, think about perhaps getting your PC off the floor. Even yeah. just giving it a few inches off the floor will go a long way to keeping the dust bunnies from migrating inside. Gravity pulls the dust to the floor. Who would think, yes. Yeah, <laughs> getting your PC off the floor where the gravity, the, mm -hmm. you know, the floor stops, gravity, you know, it's basically say everything goes to the floor. And we all we all vacuum our own homes, right. we all vacuum our furniture, we, we like our couch and our rugs <laughs> and everything. Why not vacuum your PC whenever you decide to vacuum the rest of your house? It always amazes me. Uh, there's a couple people I work with that have these spotless desks and they use these incredible like detergent, chlorine laden wipes to make sure everything's super hypoallergenic and it just. And then you look behind their monitor mm -hmm. and there's like a dust bunny the size of Cleveland back yeah, there. Yeah, it's just been mutating and growing <laughs> behind. And also, you have to make sure to close mm -hmm. or filter as many of the holes in your PC as you can. Even if you're just taping a piece of screen or stocking, for example, over yeah. the fan intakes, that'll go a long way in keeping that crap out of there as well. Case in point, this is a classic uh, intake fan. You can tell that this is the right. intake side because this is the side with all the dust on it. Now, if you basically just wrap a piece of stocking over this and put it against the side of your PC and screw mm -hmm. it down, that'll keep the, well, basically, the, the stuff will end up on the stocking instead of being sucked inside your PC or and on the fan. And that's really easy to wash at that point, too. Yes. After you, you don't even have to replace it. Just run it under a sink, mm -hmm. get the dust and crud off of there, and then put it back on. Let it dry first. Let it dry first, <laughs> yes. You never want to put wet anything near your PC, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and we got to say, clean your desktop, your notebook, your keyboard regularly, especially mm -hmm. your keyboard. If you're a muncher, if you like to snack at the keyboard, clean it regularly. It gets much, much worse for your PC the longer you let the scum build up or the cookies build up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny, Roger, our beloved producer, who you'll see later in the show, talking about his epic tale of virus woe. Um, basically vacuums out his PC whenever he vacuums out his house. There you go, exactly, yeah. perfect. A regular schedule. Here's the thing though, you wanna always power it down and pull the plug before you start working on it, at least inside of it. And if you can't get it out from under the desk, get a headlamp so because once you light up yeah. the inside of your machine, you, you see, see a lot more of what's going on in there. Is there anything bad about doing this? Anything dangerous about Absolutely. doing this kind of thing? Um, if you have like, <laughs> I'm gonna remove the attachment here. If, if you don't have one, get a dust brush, right? That's the, it won't reach everywhere inside of your PC, but it's a really good idea because these bristles are relatively soft. Um, I just actually whipped you, you a bunch of up dust. You a bunch of dust. I saw it come at your face. <laughs> when I start sneezing, everybody will know why. If you use a crevice tool or the end, just, you're just like, oh, this is narrow. I can fit this in there or, or, or a traditional crevice tool. Make sure you don't whack the motherboard and pop off a surface mount component because mm. it's really easy if you're kind of like distracted, you know, to be like, 
<laughs> and then all of a sudden there'll be this noise that you're not going to hear over the vacuum, and then your computer won't start because there's like a capacitor or a resistor that's removed. So here's the thing though, <laughs> vacuuming can only do so much. A lot of times you're going to have to pull if it's really dusty. I mean, look at all the crud. You can see the, this, like, there's probably a millimeter of dust in between these two cards. We were able to sort of dust and, and use the microfiber cloth to clean up this one, but this one, not so much. And if you look down here, you can see where the nozzle isn't going to reach back there. So there's a lot of cases you're just going to have to pull the machine apart to get all the crazy, nasty, ooh. Oh, that's, Aww, yeah, that's I'm going to wash my hands now. <laughs> Yeah, and removing the fans makes it much easier to clean the crud off of them, and then you can oil them while they're out at the same time. So it's kind of like doing double maintenance. Yeah. Q-tips uh, and uh, toothpicks can pry the dust from in between the veins in your heat sink as well. And uh, watch out when you're using wipes, though. You don't want the moisturizing kind <laughs> of baby wipes because they're going to leave a really disgusting, like greasy film over everything they touch. Which That's what will they do. They moisturize. They leave moisturizer <laughs> on on surfaces. And we got a tweet from at P Dunn who asked about correcting rattling fans. So let's let's talk about this. There's a number of reasons I'm going to take the headlamp off. I don't think you should. You think I should leave no, this on? Should I turn awesome. the light on? Does that make me feel I'm more like, like cleany? I have to so, see in the monitor. There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Do that. So here's the thing. Like pulling fans out makes them really easier. When you're looking inside your case, you hear noise inside your case. Um, make sure the number one thing that makes a noise with a fan is if there's some kind of cable touching the actual fan blades. It's like that rattling... Or like if you put a baseball card in the spokes on your bike. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and the fan itself, by the way, if you look at the fan and it's like a giant wobbling mess, this one isn't quite a giant wobbling mess. It's, it's just, you know, moving on the shaft. But if it's like wobbling side to side so it hits the side of the case, it's done. It's time to replace that fan. If it's grinding or whining, um, you can actually try uh, lubricating it, oiling it. So, you know, there's a sticker on the back of your fan. I don't know if we can quite see it. So I'm going to scrape it off real quick. You can sort of gingerly take it off um, and try to put it back down. You just replace, if, if the sticker disintegrates when you pull it off, um, just replace it with a piece of tape. But you can see right there, so this is actually, the fan's in good shape. That is the oil where you can actually lubricate it. So, uh -huh, neat. you know, if you have a new PC or new fans, try doing this once a year. Um, it comes with its own little oil supply. <laughs> well, that's, you got to remember, there's a ball bearing in here. There's either a ball bearing in here or sort of a, a, a bearing block, a, a bushing that's wrapped around the shaft, right? And it, you know, they, they get dried out and they start to whir, and then they basically, the shaft gets rattled down and they disintegrate. So you can extend the, the life of your fans pretty much out to forever if you keep them lubricated. Um, WD-40 is the bomb for cleaning mechanicals, drying out distributors. Uh, it, is, it was it literally invented to work on rockets um, to uh, dispel moisture out of the little bits inside of rockets. It's a crappy lubricant. I mean, it'll, it'll like, you know, it'll clean up your door hinges and keep them lubed for a couple weeks, but you need to go to an actual genuine, like a three-in-one oil. The blue stuff is supposed to be mineral-based instead of vegetable-based, so I tend to prefer that from doing stuff. Three-in-one oil is a classic. Let me turn that around so you can see the front of the label. Which is the one you prefer? I actually prefer the blue label, the, blue the label. super fancy okay. one. If you ever see it, um, Norvay's turbine lubricating oil uh, is super fancy, high quality oil for lubricating stuff. And if you're feeling particularly fancy, look for uh, TriFlows lubricant, which is a PTFE based lubricant. And all of these are like, I think the most you can spend on one of these is like five or six bucks if you really work hard. That one looks like the one I use for my um, shredder at home to keep the blades lubricated. It probably is very, very similar. similar. It also has the, this one, uh, part of the reason I love the, uh, the zoom spout oiler, of course, is the That's ridiculous cool. zoom spout. So you can reach <laughs> into strange areas and precisely apply the lubricant. Yeah, that's Speaking nice because you don't want to get that all over the place no. in your computer. No. You also apply the lubrication sparingly. You don't need a lot. Um, if the sticker won't, in this case, the sticker goes down pretty nicely. If the sticker won't go down, uh, put a piece of tape over there and then just reinstall it inside your system. Okay, so. Cool. And it's, it's pretty easy, but doing that will keep your fans alive longer, that'll keep your power supply alive longer, it'll keep your computer running cooler longer. So if I just got my, my new computer two months ago, when right. should I first think about doing this kind of thing? I'm going to put this on an annual basis. An annual basis, yeah. okay. You probably won't even need to lubricate it that often, but once a year, it's, it's if you, I'm going to pull this off before I get a headache, the, uh, <laughs> once a year, because uh, it's adjusted apparently for my son and not me, but once a year, 
Um, Maintenance is always good once a year. That's yeah. why we're doing a spring cleaning episode. That's why we're doing a spring cleaning episode. Exactly. And we'll be cleaning screens later in the show, but next, how to clean viruses and malware out of an infested system. But first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Join modern wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing and community-inspired creations. And be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. Tired of lugging stuff around the airport? In the latest episode, Ben builds robot luggage with the help of Jesse Robinson. Stay tuned at element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show.